Hello, I'm uh, Nason Tackett here at the Here Technologies Lab. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on a Hereback Pro uh, mixer. And uh, first I wanted to thank everybody who came out to the AES show uh, last week. We had a great show, had a great turnout. Thank you for your support. So uh, first uh, what you're going to need is either a, a number two or number three size Phillips screwdriver, a uh, decent size Phillips screwdriver course a Hereback Pro mixer and a um, mixer programming card which looks like this. So first thing we're going to need to do is disconnect the Cat5 cable and there's screws on the bottom that uh, reveal a uh, expansion card slot right here on the side. So we're going to take those two screws out, put them somewhere safe so we don't lose them. And now you can see the uh, little card slot right there. And notice that there's uh, little uh, card rails on either side, and so we're going to want to try to line this up with that. Notice the card uh, has an up indication, and the up is with basically the knobs of the mixer facing up. You want up to uh, face that direction. So I'm actually going to turn it sideways so I can see uh, the little card rail guides there. And I'm going to line it up and stick it in until it clicks. And I'm going to turn it back this way so we can see these LEDs. There's four LEDs along the side here. So when I plug the power in, you're first going to see a blue power LED come on, uh, followed by a yellow run LED. And then the after the um, programming takes place, uh, it'll change from a yellow run LED to either a green uh, done LED or a red error LED. Uh, if you do get an error, uh, the best thing to do is pull the card out, plug it back in, or you can actually unplug the power, uh, the RJ45, and plug it back in. Uh, if it continues to do that, definitely give us a call. And what this is going to do, this is going to uh, program the bootloader. That's the first of three stages of this uh, firmware update. So this uh, run LED is going to go yellow, and then you should see it go green. But that's just the first uh, stage. The second stage is we're going to see some green LEDs go one by one across the mixer, across the top from left to right, then the next. And after it fills them all up, uh, after a little while, uh, you'll see some magenta LEDs go around the master knob. That's the third stage. That's when it's actually program reprogramming one of the chips inside of the uh, mixer. So the whole thing takes about two and a half minutes. So when I plug this cable in, just take a look at these LEDs here. So you see the yellow LED and the blue LED are on. Now the green LED is on, meaning that we're, uh, we're finished uh, programming the bootloader. Now what you're going to see is these, L these green LEDs lighting up one by one. And during this process, we're actually copying the new firmware from the card uh, and saving it into the flash memory of the mixer. So this does, this is probably the, the longest part of the, the process here. I don't know how well you can see the green LEDs on the camera there. Are you able to Got any any viewers watching right now? Seven. Seven. All right. Cool. Max is in in the room here with me, operating the camera. Seven viewers. Cool. So we're actually going to be able to do updates from the new app that we're releasing, the new iOS app. But the first update in order to use the app will have to be done with this card. After that, 
uh, you'll be able to do updates from the app and you'll no longer have to use a card. But just to get to that first, um, you know, it's like a stepping stone just to get to where you can actually use the app. You'll have to do the first update with the card, and then once you do that, you'll be able to do uh, any any further updates just with the app itself. So here in just a second, uh, once the uh, uh, basically it's it's kind of doing a check right now to make sure that everything copied properly. Then you're going to see the green LEDs go off, and the magenta LEDs around the master knob will start lighting up, and that'll be the third stage of the uh, programming. And really, you can just kind of leave the mixer be. Um, as long as you see it start the process, you can walk away. And if you come back and basically the mixer's just up and running, it means that it finished doing the update. And you can always uh, check the version number. We'll show you how to do that. Um, the great thing about doing the uh, firmware update with the iOS app is you'll be able to um, do it on all the mixers at the same time. So. Whereas this, you kind of have to do one mixer at a time with the card. Uh, once you've got the um, app, you'll be able to just uh, send it out to all mixers at the same time. So that'll be, and you, it'll actually do it in the background too. So you can actually use the mixers while it's sending the, the uh, firmware. And the new firmware won't um, take effect until you do a reboot. And for some reason, if it fails, it's fine because it'll basically go back to booting from the orig original firmware that was uh, loaded on the mixer. So there's really no way to brick it. We've designed it so that uh, uh, basically makes it impossible to brick. So now we, we've uh, finished doing the check, and you can see these magenta LEDs are lighting up around the master. Uh, so right now it's reprogramming um, the chip that handles all the user interface, all the knobs and LEDs. Once that finishes, it will uh, reboot, and it's done. So you can uh, move on to the next mixer at that point. Unplug the... Uh, programming card and put the screws back in. So once this finishes, I will uh, show you how to double check what uh, version of firmware is loaded on it. Uh, it's a nice thing to do. Uh, you, you can actually do that with the app as well, um, but uh, for now I'll just show you how to do it on the mixer itself. So there we go, we're finished. So you see the mixer is now rebooting. And actually the boot up sequence that you just, that you're watching to do the little light show, uh, it's different on every uh, major release of firmware that we do. So the very first release of firmware uh, was different looking. In fact, I think we, we actually have some videos on our, our Facebook and YouTube page that kind of show uh, the difference uh, Max talked about. I think uh, we did a live broadcast a, a while back and he kind of showed what that looks like. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can you can uh, take a look at that. It's kind of a quick way just to know like what major release, uh, you know, are you running uh, the original firmware that we shipped or are you running this new firmware that supports the, uh, um, the iOS app? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unplug the RJ45. I'm going to pull this card out. And before I put the, I do need to put the card slot cover back on, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you if you hold down this preset button while you plug the RJ45 and keep holding it, eventually these lights will start flashing down here, the pan and aux, like that. Now you let go, and the, the light that is illuminated around the master is, can you see that? It's the first LED is, is illuminated. That LED, whichever number is lit, is the first part of the version number. So this, uh, just to give you an example, what it's showing here, this is one dot, then the second part is whichever ring up here is illuminated, so this is 12. So our, ver our firmware ver version is 1.12. So if it was like 2.1, it would be the second LED here, and then the first one here would be like 2.1, for example. So. This is correct, that is what I just loaded on this mixer was 1.12, so we're in good shape. I'm gonna unplug and put the uh, screws back in, so I think that uh, completes our uh, firmware update process. Pretty straightforward, it's a you know, little bit uh, uh, time consuming, uh, 
because um, you do have to do that on, on each mixer. But you, like I said, you can just basically stick the card in there, make sure it, it at least starts the process, the walk away. If you come back and it's basically up and running, then it's completed. You can move on to the next mixer. And uh, once you do this update with the card, then you'll be able to move on to using the iOS app to do future uh, firmware updates. So thanks for checking out the video and uh, stay tuned. We'll be uh, doing another live broadcast uh, probably this week or maybe early next week. Um, we're going to be talking about bringing the uh, talkback system uh, back. So that was a product that we used to make uh I guess probably about a decade ago, and we've had a lot of requests uh, to bring that thing back to the market. So uh, we're looking to do that, and we're looking to add some new features and uh, maybe even uh, take some suggestions on what you'd like to see if we were to make any changes to it. So um, we'll, uh, we'll bring the original uh, TalkBack uh, 200 and 600 back out, kind of show you guys um, what functionality those had and you know, kind of talk, talk about what we're thinking about doing um, with the new version of that. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll probably uh, post um, pretty soon what day we'll do that. We'll let you know ahead of time. So thanks for checking it out.